Right, today we're uh, coming in to uh, check the nukes and to place the uh, broodering mats on, or the earlier name was uh, Tex Winter Mats. There was a lot of confusion between the uh, name of the uh, Tex uh, Winter Mats, so we started to call them Tex Broodering Mats. I've been using these mats since the 1980s. They are placed on, on all hives when the temperature gets down to uh, 18 degrees, night time. Here's one of the mats, just hold it up there, June. Yep, right beauty. So uh, that gets put on. The idea of the broodering mat is to keep warmth in the brood super. Even the honey hives have the same principle, the broodering mat underneath the excluder to keep that warmth in the brood super for rearing bees in the colder, colder winter nights. We'll do the same to all these other nukes that's in this particular yard. And when we finish the nukes, we will uh, do the honey hives. Good morning, June. You got your smoker going, have you? Sort of. Tell me bloody porkies again, eh? <laughs> what are you doing there? <laughs> Technique, I do. <laughs> Technique, is it? <laughs> I can drink water through it, but blowing your nose through it is a little harder. Right. Oh, we'll start over the end over here and uh, you can check these nukes with the uh, finger test. Okay. And uh, if we're down to one finger, then we'll need to go into them. I check all my nukes every seven to ten days. They're only four frame single nukes for stores so that they do not run short of stores during the colder months. What are the gloves for? I'm a wuss. You're a wuss. I'm a girl. <laughs> I'm a girl. Not real warm this morning, eh? Today we're uh, checking uh, all the nukes in this particular site for stores. There are a number of nukes here that uh, will be ready for uh, the early spring season. So what you got to do is check, check yep. the back. Two fingers. Two fingers, right, okay. How's the other one? Likewise. Right, okay, lock it back up again. Two fingers? Two. Yep, that's good. Yep. Uh, no, none of these are tied down because they're in the... Uh, in, in, no, in, the in, in the safe area, there's no need for it. That's nice and heavy, that one. Nice that's and heavy? heavy. Uh, that, that, that's good. That's it's three fingers. Yeah, well, that's good. Right around. Right. This uh, particular nuke had a little bit of chalk brood, uh, so we uh, had some spare bees, so we amalgamated uh, another four uh, frames of uh, bees onto it. And uh, we, uh, I'm checking this morning, uh, there's no uh, chalk brood at all out the entrance, so it looks like they've cleaned it all out. Oh, no 
more spray on it. Put my tie back. Yeah, so lots of brood there? Yeah, solid brood. This is brood on one side, okay, yeah, so you can yeah, see the other so, side. Solid brood. Just leave it? Yep. I'll just check this other frame here. Yep. Since adding those uh, few bees, this uh, nuke has increased uh, nearly double the amount in the brood super, which is good for uh, going through winter. We found the queen, so uh, the queen is now uh, a bit over a month old and uh, I'm, uh, I've decided to uh, mark and clip her so that she's a lot easier to be seen in the hive. I'm now caging the queen until the uh, whiteout uh, dries and uh, then she'll be put uh, down on the uh, entrance of the hive until uh, we're ready to uh, reassemble the hive. Hang on, I've got the trap here. Smoke in the smoke. Put the smoke in the air. Contrary to uh, a lot of Beak's beliefs, small hive beetle and wax moth do not breed or increase in winter time or in the colder months. Some of my hives I have small hive beetle traps in and others I don't. I very very seldom see small hive beetles in the colder months in my area. Did you want to check here? Yep. The queen is now being released. There is nothing worse than rolling or killing a queen when the hive is being put back together again. Hang on, turn that one around. No, they're both, they're both, they're both four frames, that's okay. lighter but it's okay yep right two fingers two fingers as long as there's not one finger no, no, okay. and uh, if you look at down the entrance here there's a uh, little bit of chalk brood uh, that they pulled out it's uh, old chalk brood not uh, fresh chalk brood chalk, fresh point. chalk brood is uh, white and uh, as it get ages on it it goes uh, round to black I don't know whether the other one's tied down or not. Oh, it's not tied down. just lift it, just try it, lift it, see how it goes. Oh, it's good and heavy. Good and heavy? Oh, that's good. Is it a four? No, no that's a five. A four. That, that's oh, a five frame. Yep, it's recording. Face up there and slowly pan around here. I can't see, I can't see what I'm getting. How can I see? No, other way, other way, other way. <laughs> That was lovely, that was all me. You want to bloody well see yourself. It was all me, I'm thinking this is wrong. I hope you edit that out, Valerie. Oh, I'll just edit whatever I want to edit. You'll see me going, what the hell? Waiting for the lights to change. We're off. See how good you can shake us here. See how good you can hold, hold steady. Having a lot of dashboard here. Lift up a bit higher. Nice and green now. Yeah, beautiful. Green. Water's gone. Yep. Gosh.
morning girls, morning girls. We're here. This, this is uh, a nuke that uh, is now a double nuke and uh, it uh, needed a few bees and we split one of the other hives that had plenty of bees so uh, we put a sheet of newspaper on and uh, this is the result. We've now got nearly four frames of bees. So I won't even bother going into it. Uh, we'll just uh, smooth, move this frame across a bit, uh, please, uh, June. When frames are firm or tight to the outside wall, the bees can never... Right, and the other end there too. ...work that outside frame. Right. Because there is no bee space. No, it's pretty, right? pretty hard, yep. You can release the queen now, come around and release the queen. Just need the smoker. No, you don't. Oh, twist it, in. twist it, twist it, twist it to get out. Tilt it up. There she's going. Turned over, twist it over, turned over so she walks out. Blow on behind her. She doesn't want my breath. I had garlic for dinner. Is that what it is? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Are you suffering? But, but, yeah, well, I'm suffering. <laughs> oh, right, last last week we put a frame of eggs and brood in here because we couldn't find any eggs, so uh, we'll see what uh, what we've got today. We've either got uh, queen cells or we've got a queen laying. This last last batch of autumn queens took a little bit longer for the uh, queen to start laying. Brood. Right, so what we've got to look for is eggs. Can't, can't see. Yeah, I'll have, I'll have a look in the sun. So uh, I've had a look at this frame here that I've just kicked and I've found eggs, so we've got a queen. And uh, this is the outside uh, frame, it's got a little bit of honey in it. What's over the other side, uh, June? Nothing. There's nothing, nothing right, one. okay, right, put it back in again. Into that uh, outside. Right. Take, take this uh, one with its eggs on it, take that one out and have a look for the queen. I'll just move back a bit. Oh. Oh, a lot of brood there too. Brood here. Yeah, a lot of brood. This one need, needs more uh, more stores. Close up. I can't see it when it's tilted at that angle. I don't worry about seeing it. I'm, I'm just having a look for the queen. Just having a quick look, if I can't see her, we won't worry, I don't want these uh, brood frames out too long. Can't see wrong angle. Just aim. Right, come in. Just scratched off the eggs, so that, that's relevant now. So this one, not much honey on here, so uh, take these two frames out. Right, fly me over you, June. Well, can't catch you, can't me, catch, you, walk, can't you, catch you if, up. If you walk me bum, you walk, if you want me bum, you walk behind me. I want you bum, I want you bum. <laughs> That's the problem. Are there going to be supplies here? So we got here. Uh, yep. Oh, great. Uh, no bump. Right, okay. This one, this one. Yeah, this hang one. On with, that one's got a bit of honey on it, so we'll leave that one there. In the colder months, this one here trying in. to move frames is a lot harder because uh, the uh, burr comb that's around your frames is a lot harder to uh, to move 
than when in spring or summertime. So it must have a loss in the bottom. Yeah. Well, they, they put honey on the outside walls for warmth. Yeah. That's it for today's beekeeping. I hope you uh, enjoy the videos. Join Tech on his uh, continuing journey. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe to my channels. See you next time on a new fantastic video.